Evacuations are a necessary but hazardous element of aircraft emergency response. Try to avoid unnecessary evacuations by keeping pilots informed of conditions outside the aircraft. The evacuation of an aircraft is the primary responsibility of the air carriers, and the carriers have trained crews for that function. However, ARF personnel should be aware that some crew members may become incapacitated or may have to evacuate the aircraft due to deteriorating conditions, which may require firefighters to assist or direct evacuations. Firefighters should prepare themselves by being able to identify the priorities of openings to be used to gain entry to aircraft, select the necessary tools and equipment to gain entry for a given aircraft and situation, demonstrate opening normal entry doors and emergency exit points for a given aircraft while wearing full protective clothing, identify potential locations for cut and entry using reference materials, aircraft markings, or general guidelines for a given aircraft, identify the hazards associated with cut and entry, Identify procedures followed during an emergency situation by crews of air carriers operating at the local airport. And identify the procedures to be used to protect evacuation points. Upon arrival at an incident, the primary responsibility of firefighters is to fight the fire while protecting an escape route for passengers. After any exterior fire is controlled, firefighters may gain entry to the aircraft, rescue occupants, and extinguish any interior fire. Open every door and hatch as soon as possible. Survivors may be waiting for rescue. Select the most appropriate doors to access in order to cut off spreading fire and not push the fire toward potential survivors or uninvolved areas. ARF and other vehicles, air stairs, baggage conveyors, and ladders can be used to enter an aircraft. Aircraft's occupants can escape through normal entrance and service doors. The force of impact can jam doors and hatches. Pressurized aircraft doors and latches are difficult or impossible to force open with spreaders. It is often easier to cut the entire door and frame out of the aircraft or cut through the fuselage. In some instances, entry is only possible by cutting through the aircraft's skin. ARF personnel must know the aircraft to avoid contact with wires, cables, tubing, and heavy structural members. The upper fuselage area above the windows is normally clear of these features, and any necessary cutting should be attempted in this area. The rivet pattern on the exterior skin indicates the location of the aircraft's structural framework. Avoid cutting skin areas congested with rivets. This usually indicates large structural members underneath. Identify the location of the cabin floor and avoid cutting into it. Painted aircraft surfaces may require sanding to expose rivets. Areas to avoid during cutting and operations can be marked on the outside of the aircraft with markers or spray paint. Cutting in is often the best means of gaining entry in an emergency, but it carries risks. Structural members and attached skin are often made of aluminum alloy. It will pop and splinter sharp metal when being ripped open with prying tools. Some materials spark when cut or torn. Take great care to protect aircraft occupants from debris created by entry equipment. Rapid emergency evacuation requires the right tools and a wide variety is available to help gain entry. Hand tools include striking, prying, cutting, and extension tools. Striking tools include axes, mallets, hammers, and sledgehammers. Axes can be pick or flat-headed with long or short handles. Some come with serrated blades for cutting aircraft skins. Others have side protrusions to prevent the blade from sinking too deep and getting stuck. A pick-headed axe can make a hole large enough to insert tips of hydraulic separators into aircraft skin. A pick-headed axe can also break up pieces of smoldering combustibles and padded seats. A flathead axe blade can be used to cut aircraft skin by striking it with a sledgehammer. Axes can also be used to clean up jagged openings made by hydraulic tools. Prying tools include the pry axe, halligan or hooligan, crowbar, pry bar, wrecking bar, kelly tool, and claw tool. Pry tools can do a variety of jobs, including lifting and widening small openings. Cutting tools are the most diverse of the hand tools. In addition to axes, they include saws, knives, and scissor or snipping type tools. Most are designed to cut specific materials. When using cutting tools, always follow safety procedures strictly and wear proper protection. 
Hand saws are safer than power saws when working close to trap victims, have less tendency to create sparks, and can be used in difficult to access areas. The most common hand saw is the hacksaw. When using a hacksaw, be sure to have spare blades. Various types of knives may be used, including pocket knives, harness or seatbelt cutters, linoleum knives, and razor knives. Snipping type tools include rescue scissors or shears, tin snips, bolt cutters, and wire or cable cutters. Bolt cutters should not be used to cut hardened steel. The most common extension tool is the pike pole. It can be used for hooking, reaching, pushing, and pulling. They come in various lengths. It can be used to overhaul aircraft ceiling areas and pull down insulation. The outflow valve on many aircraft can be forced open to depressurize an aircraft using a pike pole. Although firefighters will use every type of tool, most work will be accomplished with power tools. Circular saws, hydraulic spreaders, cutters, rams, and airbags will be the most effective. A circular rescue saw provides a clean and rapid opening. Circular saws should be rated for heavy duty and be equipped with several 16-inch blades capable of cutting metal. Circular saws sometimes produce flying debris and sparks. Victims in close proximity should be shielded and rescue personnel should wear proper protective gear. Saws used around combustible material or flammable liquids, such as fuel, should always be used with the protection of a charged manned hand line. When cutting plastic or plexiglass, blades may heat or soften the metals, slowing the cut. Soft metals like aluminum may clog blades. Clean the blade by cutting a harder substance. Reciprocating saws have a straight blade that moves in an action similar to a handsaw. Often overlooked because of the ignition hazard, cutting torches are a rescue tool that can be used in limited applications. Under extremely controlled conditions, cutting torches can rapidly and easily cut through the strongest structural members. Cutting torches can be used from ladders and in areas too congested or inaccessible to larger power tools. They are a last resort tool when other options have failed. A wide variety of hydraulic rescue systems are available. They are hydraulic spreaders, hydraulic cutters, and hydraulic rams. Although they all operate in a similar fashion, they can vary significantly in weight, capacity, operation, and features. Spreaders are primarily used for prying, pushing, or crushing. With the proper grab hooks and chain accessories, they can also be used for pulling. Closed spreaders can be used to widen a small hole in aircraft skin. Spreaders rip, tear, and roll aircraft skin, creating a jagged opening that may need to be padded or bent back with another rescue tool. Once spreaders have opened the skin, hydraulic shears can be inserted to cut formers, longerons, and other structural members. Two rescuers working in tandem, one using spreaders and the other using cutters, can make a good size opening in a reasonable amount of time. Rams are available for straight pushing operations. They can also be used to pull, but the closing force is often half the pushing force. Common pneumatic tools using compressed air include air chisels and airbags. Pressurized air can be provided by vehicle air brake systems, apparatus-mounted air compressors, SCBA cylinders, and cascade systems of multiple cylinders. Air chisels are pneumatic impact hammers that drive a bit that cuts, penetrates, or drives in a plug. Air chisels can be used for cutting medium to heavy gauge sheet metal. They can pop rivets and cut bolts. Its light weight means it can be safely used from a ladder. Air chisels are highly effective on plexiglass and Lexan windows with a wide cutting tip. Another type of pneumatic tool, airbags are used to lift or stabilize objects. Most are relatively lightweight and easy to maneuver. The shorter the lift, the maximum the lifting capacity. As the bag is inflated, the lifting capacity decreases. Knowledge and practice with entry tools means you will know which tool to use in an emergency situation and how to use it effectively.